Hi guys, it's Tao from Shine Bright Design and today I'm doing another commentary journal on this piece by Jasmine Becker Griffith and this is from her colouring book A Fantasy Art Adventure. Now this is the Snow White inspired piece that she did and when I was doing this piece I really wanted to stick to the fairy tale and what I mean by that is I wanted to have skin white as snow, hair black as night and lips red as rose and I wanted to create a dress that was very similar to the traditional dress that we see in our Disney movies. Now this skin tutorial is very similar to our Evampari tutorial. That skin tutorial was very pale as well. This is very similar. The only difference between those two tutorials is this skin tutorial is a lot more pale. And you'll see that later on through the video. So I think from recollection, this tutorial had a bit more white in the skin and it was more pale, but it used similar colors, almost exact colors that we use in the Evampari. It's just the levels or amounts of color that we use that were warm were, were changed. So this tutorial was obviously more pale, but I am in love with this skin. I think it turned out brilliant and it's one of my most proudest parts of this tutorial. So you can see via this video that I work in a very light hand and I actually don't actually use that many warm colors and it's the majority of it is white and I work in very light layers which is why there isn't any burnishing. So a lot of you guys ask me how I don't get burnishing and my biggest tip is to work in thin layers. Now I sometimes struggle and do get burnishing and it can't be helped and sometimes that's just the paper but this is one of those brands that you really got to finesse and when I say finesse I mean you got to work in thin layers to avoid that burnishing so it's not that um, easy to work with it's a lot more harder but I think it is doable it is definitely um, achievable and you can definitely create great stuff with these Prismacolor pencils so the eyes are also one of my favorite bits as well. I did these eyes very different to how I normally do them. And you'll see it by the end when I do my reflection in the eye. Not my reflection, but when I do the light reflection in the eye, it you can see there I had a reference of the image I used. And it just looks amazing. And I thought, why wasn't I thinking of this before? And I thought, man, I'm, this is my biggest tip for you guys. Use reference images. Not on the original painting. You don't have to do that all the time. But you can use reference images of real life hair, real life apples, real life eyes, um, trees, background, wood textures. Go for it. That eye is so damn smoking hot. It is so good. Just look at it. The reflection is popping. It's like, I am in love good. So when I was doing her hair, I wanted dark hair. And when I did it, it was dark, but it wasn't dark as I'd liked it. And you'll see, you'll see when I finish the right side of this video that I did it. And it was nice, yes, but I felt like it wasn't pure black. Now, I'm really adhering to the whole hair black as night type of fairy tale, you know, characteristics that Snow White has. And I really wanted to stick to that. And I thought, well, I'm usually working with blacks and greys, so it's not really going to be the darkest black that I can get. So what I did was I used markers and I used one of my favorite markers, which is the Faber-Castell 
um, brush tip markers. This is the Pit Pens and I have a 36 set I think or 60 set. It's the, one of the biggest sets that you can get and I love it. I think I use, I've used all the colors. I think they're amazing. Um, they're great for details. Not for creating large spaces of area with texture, but they're great for details like trees, hair, um, fur. I think it's great. And here I'm showing you guys painting in the Fine Tech uh, Mika paints. This is the Fine Tech Original Gold palette. And I think one of you guys um, complained that I cut it out. So I've decided I won't cut it out, you know. I thought that you guys may not like to see the whole paint porn of the gold metallic. So I didn't include it in the past, but I thought I would include it today. And I do agree, there is something relaxing about watching someone paint. I actually think that palette is a beautiful palette. Fine Tech is a very good brand and their metallic or their pearlescent colors are amazing. So I decided to do a red bodice and I decided to do the inside of the sleeves red. Now I could have done blue exactly like how I did the jacket but I wanted that sleeve to pop out so I did a contrasting inner sleeve with the red and I think that really made it I think it really helped everything kind of stand out So, her collar is white and I stuck to traditional Snow White themed costumes. So, in traditional Disney, she has a white collar and in a lot of pictures and costumes, it is a white collar. And so I thought I'd stick to it. Also, she has a white skirt. And as much as I wanted to not have a white, a, sorry, not a white skirt, she has a yellow skirt. But as much as I wanted it not to be yellow, I just thought, nah, gotta stick to traditional or else people are gonna think it's not Snow White, you know? I really wanted to have a clear vision that obvious this is Snow White, you know? I've seen other people do this piece and it looked nothing like Snow White. People didn't get that obvious Snow White look or theme. Now, I've been noticing a lot of. I've been noticing and analyzing the data on my YouTube channel, and I realize a lot of you guys love the nicer tutorials. What I mean by nicer is you like the tutorials that are pretty, not creepy, not outside the square type of thing. You like the really nicely done ones that are just pretty artworks. For example, Eve Empire, um, Princess and the Main Coon Cat, you guys like that one too. Um, Sonora, that one's a really good one as well. Um, Alice in Wonderland is definitely a favorite with you guys. And what is common between those tutorials is their they're nice, they're traditional, they're not outside the box. Now I like doing things outside the box as well. I think it just throws a span in the works and just gives it a bit of difference. And I'm happy to do that every so often, but generally I think we're gonna keep this channel very, very traditional, very pretty. Um, and this is what I mean by pretty. This is one of those pretty tutorials. And I think you guys, like it if you don't if you like the weird or the um the the ones that kind of are outside the box tell me because i'd like to know i kind of get the vibe that you guys have a want for pretty tutorials like this one tutorials that aren't creepy tutorials that don't alter what is already there 
tutorials that aren't I guess outside the box you just want nicely colored nice tutorials uh, insightful tutorials that teach you things but nothing too advanced and I realized that maybe the things the tutorials where I do it a bit outside the box are maybe a bit too advanced so comment guys below if you like tutorials like this one like Alice in Wonderland like E Vampire like Maine Coon Cat just name, to name a few you like tutorials like that right like you like tutorials that are that are hard but not too too crazy you know like n not too ambitious you know like I guess a lot of you guys on my channel are here to learn and so if I do things outside the box for example a melting face um, it may be a bit too ambitious but I do like to do it for you guys because I think some of you guys on here may like to have a go you know and it looks cool it's 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 got great techniques and great um, great lessons in it that you that you could learn you know maybe you're not there yet but I think definitely um, a lot of people would like to watch it and learn from it so I don't know that's just a bit of chit chat talk about how I'm feeling about content on this channel um, tell me what you guys think should I do things that are outside the box should I keep doing what I'm doing or should I do more pretty things like this tutorial uh, I'm open to also doing more artists coloring books for example Hannah Carlson, um, uh, Lila Dully, I think I have her book as well. I have so many new books that I haven't had the chance to colour because I'm focusing a lot on Jasmine Becker Griffith's books lately. And I want you guys to tell me if you're open to other books. I'd love to know because I think it'd be cool to change things up here and there. But yeah, that's a bit of chit chat and I thought... I need some feedback guys so comment below tell me what you guys think I'd love to know so the background is very dull and the reason why it is is because I wanted the wolves and snow white to really pop out and I felt like these characters were the most important characters in this page the background whatever it just needs to be nicely done so that's what I did. I made sure that everything popped out and the background stayed the background. By the way, I'm loving these wolves. I think they're amazing. This tutorial includes solvents, so I think it's really good that you guys watch this tutorial if you're having issues with fur. I think you'll learn a lot as well. Uh, the solvent I'm using is Art Spectrum and it's an odorless solvent. And I love odorless solvents because they're they they don't smell and they really easy to use so if you don't guys know how to use solvents I have a tutorial on it uh, if you check out my channel about blending tools or blending blending tutorial I'll see if I can link it in the description box below you can watch that as well if you are interested in doing solvents but yes I really have enjoyed this I really loved um, creating this snow white piece and I love how Jasmine just uses Disney I am someone who like I love I love Disney I love magic like I am one of those people who just believes in magic you know and that's just who I am that's why I love these type of I love these type of coloring pieces you know, the Disney ones, the Alice in Wonderland ones, they're just so magical, you know. Uh, but yes, uh, we use Posca pens as well and markers on top. And the background was done fairly quick because I really didn't think too much on it because I really wanted the wolves and the figure to really jump out. So guys, I also use a white gel pen to create highlight in the fur. And the reason why is the 
Posca pen is very opaque, whereas the gel pen can be quite scratchy, so it's not as opaque. It doesn't feel in every spot it touches. So if you want something that is very white, uh, that does, for example, highlights in the eyes, Posca pens, yes, amazing. Highlights in the hair, great. But if you're trying to create hair strokes, fur highlights, I recommend using a gel pen. So, this is the tutorial. I hope you guys have enjoyed. I hope you guys do the tutorial. And if you do, tag me on Instagram. I'd love to see it. If you have any questions, comment below. And as always, like and subscribe and hit that bell button if you don't want to miss out and get notifications from me. And I'll see you guys next time, guys. And I hope you have enjoyed. Bye.